My name is Kelly. I'm so excited that you're gonna join me today as we read through this new book together. This is the very first book in the Bear in a Bowtie series written by my friend, Barry Waldo. It's called The Bear Who Dared. Are you ready? I sure am. Let's get started. The Bear Who Dared by Barry Brandon Waldo. Illustrated by Marcin Pivovarsky. In a faraway forest with flowers and streams, there lived a blue bear with a lot of big dreams. The place he called home was named Very Small Town. It was full of big bears, every one of them brown. Did you see the sign? It says, welcome to Very Small Town. <laughs> and look, Blue likes to read books too, just like we're doing right now. Blue tried to fit in like he thought that he should and practiced to be the best bear that he could. He scratched his small back to avoid burping fleas and borrowed fresh honey from bear-friendly bees. He hid his bow tie to please bear naked fans. He ate slimy grubs out of smelly trash cans. He rubbed gooey mud on his belly and face and Blue did it all with the utmost of grace. These fussy bears are holding funny signs, aren't they? This one says, it's not rude to swim in the nude. This one says, bears don't wear bow ties. <laughs> no wonder why Blue's trying to hide his bow tie. But some of those bears still created a fuss. We see your blue collar, you're not one of us. Those bothersome bears walked away with a pout and blue became bluer on the inside and out. Oh, that little cub looks like she wants to play with blue but she's not being allowed to. <laughs> Can you spot any other animals in this picture that aren't bears? I see a squirrel and a rabbit. I wonder if they want to play with Blue. Then one day, while gazing at clouds in the sky, he saw a bright flash of blue feathers go by. A dazzling blue bird. It flew into a tree. And Blue thought, hmm, maybe that bird's quite like me. He ran to the tree and looked up in surprise. He scratched his small head and rubbed his wide eyes. This tree grows from books. Its long limbs form a map. Blue summoned his courage and gave it a tap. Wow, did you notice the shape of this tree's leaves? They form a map of Earth. Uh oh, do you see someone watching Blue from up in the tree? I wonder who it is. Great magic awakened and golden leaves stirred. Out peeked a suitcase in the shape of that bird. Hello? What's your name? Blue called out to her nest. Sue Hoot, chirped the owl, and it's time for a test. What happened next made the little bear shriek. To Blue's great surprise, the tree started to speak. Grab onto my branch and discover the world. The travel tree swayed and her branches unfurled. <laughs> her name is Sue Hoot and she's in the shape of a suitcase. Get it? Sue Hoot case. <laughs> That's really funny. Little Blue, wishing that he was much fitter, began his long climb with his nerves all a jitter. He passed the first branch and he let out a puff. This is harder than I thought, he said with a huff. The night soon arrived and he thought about home. Should I just give up? I can't do this alone. Oof, Blue's really high up in that tree. I would be scared too. Something tapped on his paw. It was three tiny ants. Bonjour, Monsieur Blue, signed the ants wearing pants. He climbed even more and met five singing bees who wore flowery shorts that went down past their knees. The bees in capris sang, Hola, we'll come too. We'd like to be friends and be part of your crew. These ants use sign language instead of talking. And these bees all have musical instruments, so they must love to sing and dance. Another branch up, something pink brushed Blue's fur. A cat-shaped umbrella that started to purr. A cat-shaped umbrella? I've heard of a cat in a hat before, but never a cat-brella. 
He rubbed her soft ears and then patted her head. Don't stay here alone. Come and join us instead. Upward, Blue pushed, and when he wanted to stop, he climbed one last branch and he popped through the top. Astonished, he gasped at the things he could see. Big cities and oceans, he giggled with glee. A wonderful kingdom, how could it be true? And all kinds of creatures, and some of them blue. There's butterflies, lizards, and blue mystery snails, iguanas and peacocks, and mighty blue whales. He clutched the cat umbrella and soared to the ground. His crew of new friends were all gathered around. The cat umbrella is helping Blue glide down to the ground like a parachute. That looks like fun. Prepare for a trip, said Blue to Sue Hoot. I'll build a bear plane while the ants map a route. With wood from the tree and the bees with buzz saws, Blue made a bear plane with his own handy paws. They worked mighty hard and built all through the day until those gruff bears showed up blocking their way. They fretted and fumed. Bears don't wear bow ties. We don't have blue fur and don't fly in the skies. We avoid all strange ants and don't talk to the trees. We certainly don't make friends with bees and capris. Yikes, those bears have a lot of rules. They don't look like very nice rules either. Now something had changed about that young blue bear. He believed in himself and his friends who stood there. The world is so big, Blue's voice rose to a roar, an assortment of colors and friends to adore. A forest with love needs red ants and striped bees, a blue bear, a pink cat, and amazing green trees. The smallest of cubs raced and came to his aid. That baby bear spoke up, she was not afraid. Who are we to decide what this blue bear can do? Maybe we should try being more ourselves, too. Look at that little bear cub. She's being kind, and she's given Blue a gift. It's a pilot's cap and goggles, so he can fly his bear plane. The travel tree raised him up and looked very proud. This bear in a bow tie stands out from the crowd. His heart was a flutter. Should he go, would he dare? Then whoosh! Off he flew with the wind in his hair. With the plane full of friends and his heart full of love, Blue circled the forest and roared from above. Dare to be your own bear in all that you do. This world's full of magic. It's waiting for you. Finally, these bears are being themselves. Which bear's your favorite? Is it the bear in a mermaid tail? Or super bear in her cape? Or how about these three little bears painting themselves blue? Wasn't that a great story? I have a feeling this is just the beginning for Blue and his crew. What do you think? Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. See you next time.